The most popular technique for laundering money is through high-valued art. This is because at the high end of the art world, anonymous buying is largely accommodated. Also, they don't care how you pay for it. Once you've made the purchase, you can then get the art transferred to a free port, which is a highly secure free trade zone of an airport or shipping port. Goods in this area can be exported or imported without customs or import taxes, provided they are exported in their original form. You can then sell the art to a legitimate buyer without ever seeing the piece. As he asks her if she needs any help, she looks away from him and seemingly continues to stare off into the distance. Frightened, Franco announces that he is leaving the area and continues to walk around somewhere else. Then he begins to wonder whether or not he should call the police as he is understandably shaken by what he just saw in front of him. It would have been interesting to see what the lady was looking at as she could have been staring at something creepy off into the distance or it could just be a lady who is lost and confused and does not know where she is. Whatever the explanation is, there's no denying that this is a highly creepy piece of footage. An online web series called The Haunted Side focuses on Patrick and Sean, a duo that create episodes in which they document themselves traveling to various supposedly haunted locations and try to make contact with the dead as well as exploring the area. On an episode revolving around the Eureka Opera House, located in Eureka, Nevada, the two experience quite a few creepy things during their visit. At about 8 minutes in, Patrick begins to call out to the spirit of somebody named Joseph and asks it to come and talk to him, to which the spirit replies simply, no. Joseph, if you're, if you're here, come and talk to us. We don't mean you any harm. Bro, did you hear that? No. I swear to God, dude. Oh my God, dude. Look at this, dude. I heard something right, up above us. I just heard right over where the camera was at, I heard somebody say, no. Yeah. I clear as day heard a voice and it said, no. Joseph, if you're, if you're here, come and talk to us. We don't mean you any harm. A little bit later on, the men pick up the words haze, touch, and threat on one of their devices, much to their confusion. Wow. Suddenly, one of the doors close to them slams shut, scaring them. The men replay the clip using a night vision camera, and it is clear that there are no strings of any kind used to slam the door shut, and it does indeed close all on its own. Holy what? F what the? F the door just shut. The door just shut. Yep. It's got the words haze, touch, and threat. Holy what? The f just three minutes later, as the two are setting up another camera, yet another door slams on them, making them even more confused than they already were. Probably. Bro. What was that? I don't know. More doors. Probably. Bro, what was that? I don't know. More doors. It takes a bit of time before something more sinister occurs, but 10 minutes later, when one of them spins around with the camera, out of the corner of your eye, you can spot an eerie shadow figure move right past the camera and quickly vanish. Okay, so this is still rolling? Yeah, okay. So you got the ovulus and you got the... What the f*** is that? What? You see something? Like, don't move. You didn't move. Don't move. Okay. Go right where you were. Yeah. Spin around every direction that you possibly can. I was like here, and then I turned back towards you. This is still rolling? Yeah? Okay. Finally, a couple of minutes later, still exploring the area, Sean suddenly hears a door creaking open only to slam shut mere seconds later. Confused and scared, Sean calls out Patrick's name 
ensuring it was just him and not something evil, but Patrick does not reply. On another camera, Patrick is seen exploring another room and hears a female voice saying the word yes. These pieces of evidence are highly unnerving and will surely make even the biggest skeptics question what they just saw. A YouTube channel known as The Paranormal Files uploaded a video on October 4th, 2019 of them exploring a place known as the Penhurst Asylum, which is infamous for being haunted. Throughout the video, host Colin Brown walks around the asylum attempting to find paranormal activity. At about an hour in, Colin explains that the footage that is being recorded is 100% raw and unedited. Just as he is saying this, subtle movement occurs in the corridors behind him, causing him to call out for answers, but he gets no response, only silence. Later on, Colin then persuades the spirits to push one of the wheelchairs in the corridors. We then hear intense screaming coming from down the halls that sounds almost otherworldly and will definitely send a chill down your spine. Take a listen. Can you show us that someone is still down here in these tunnels? Suddenly, we began to hear screaming echoing down from the end of the tunnel that we were hearing with our ears and picking up on the camera. The footage that you're about to see is going to go down in history as one of our scariest moments ever while filming the show and one of our craziest pieces of evidence that we've ever captured. That's actually a little too much for me. Can we go? No. No, that was like very scary. Was it? Let's breathe. Can we go? The US Navy has finally acknowledged that videos appearing to show UFOs flying through the air are real. They don't call them UFOs, they call them unidentified aerial phenomena. They, these, uh, the several videos they're talking about were recorded years ago by fighter pilots. Then in 2017, they were made public by the New York Times. We're now from our Randy Kay. It's rotating. Images of that rotating thing captured by U.S. Navy aircraft. Sensors locking in on the target. Commander David Fravor saw it firsthand during a training mission describing it like a 40-foot-long tic-tac, maneuvering rapidly and changing direction. As we both looked out the right side of our airplane, we saw a disturbance in the water and a white object, oblong, pointing north. The object was first sighted in 2004, then similar objects again in 2015. Footage of the sightings, declassified by the military, weren't made public until December 2017 by the New York Times, and a group that researches UFOs. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 100 point out to the west. The whole thing, dude. This was extremely abrupt, like a ping pong ball bouncing off a wall. The ability to hover over the water and then start a vertical climb from basically zero up towards about 12,000 feet and then accelerate in less than two seconds and disappear is something I had never seen in my life. The Navy says it still doesn't know what the objects are, and officials aren't speculating. A Navy spokesman simply confirming to CNN the objects seen in the various clips are unidentified aerial phenomena, or UAPs. The UFO reports were first investigated by a secret $22 million program, part of the Defense Department budget, that investigated reports of UFOs. The program has since been shut down, but it was run by a military intelligence official who told CNN they found compelling evidence that we, quote, may not be alone. Randy Kay, CNN, New York.
The United States has released a video of the Russian Su-27 fighter jet colliding with an American MQ-9 Reaper drone over the Black Sea. The Russian fighter jet appears to dump fuel as it intercepts the US drone on the first attempt and apparently hits it on the second attempt. Then the signal is lost. This discredits the Russian claim that the jet never made contact with the drone. However, Russia has stated that if any of their aircraft are shot down, aka retaliation, it'll be a declaration of war. Am I dead? Unfortunately, yes. What's the real story behind The Conjuring House? What's the actual story? So, yeah, the, the movie story is like this witch, Bathsheba, or whatever. But the actual story, there's a bunch of different things that they say are haunted, but it's actually built on the grounds of the... Is that the house? That's yeah, it. Yeah, it's cool creepy. House. It's an amazing house. house. Um, so what's the original story? So um, the most... The most famous we'll get to, but like uh, it's built on the same grounds that the, the King Philip's War was fought mm -hmm. on, like right at the beginning of the uh, United States and everything. So the main people that haunt that are like seven dead soldiers that this little girl uh, always kept seeing in the walls. And thus it started manifesting more to the entire family. Mm -hmm. So this family called the Perrin family bought the place in like 1972. Uh, and for 10 years, they said they would see you know, these figures, these these soldiers walking around, like their beds would shake, they would get scratches, like, and it kept getting worse over the 10 years. Um, and the crazy part is it got to become famous because of like the final day that like changed it all. Um, they wanted to do like an exorcism on the house uh, because I think, who's the mom parent? Uh, uh, whatever. Caroline or something? Caroline Perrin. Yeah, Caroline Perrin was like getting like really bad. Like she would have things happen to her every single day. You know, furniture would move, all these sort of things. She was she was getting like really rash with everything. So she brought in these demonologists to her. Ed and Lorraine Warren. Ed and Lorraine Warren. If you've heard of them before. No. They're like the... the... <laughs> Horrific Crash National Airlines Flight 102 Is this proof that a portal to hell is actually real? You remember Art, right? Yeah. Basically, this story is called The Hole to Hell. So it starts off with this guy. His name is Mel Waters. He has land in Washington, right? His land is pretty big, bro. Like fucking terrenos type shit, right? And on his property, bro, he ends up finding a hole. And a bunch of locals throw a bunch of shit in there. Old, like, technology, refrigerators, shit that doesn't work, garbage, dead animals, whatever. He tried to find out how deep it was, right? Okay. So what he did was he took a fishing line and he took a weight. He threw the weight down with the fishing line. And he said that it didn't even touch the floor. And guess how deep he reached, though? He reached 80,000 feet without touching the floor. How long was the fucking the fish? That's how much string he bought though. He bought mad fucking string like boom boom. Eighty thousand feet is long, bro. That's big. Hey yo. As usual, I brought the dogs with me. They wouldn't go anywhere near the damn thing. And if I try to bring them there on a leash, they'll just dig their feet and they do not want to go anywhere near the hole. But the thing is that makes this whole shit even weirder, bro. After radio station aired and shit oh, mel waters didn't live there anymore what, what do you mean people are saying that the government he said it himself as well because he called again he's saying that basically people the government approached them they offered him an x amount of money to stop talking about what he was talking about and to move and that they were going to buy the land and they were going to occupy the land now and did they do that they did that because in 2012 some guy named gerald osborne who's like a local of the town he ended up trying to find the fucking hole because he was trying to figure out what the fuck is going on yeah so that he couldn't go anywhere near it bro like that shit was blocked off and it was a military base what what is amazing huh can you see this The pink girl? No. You can't. No, I can't see the pink girl. Is she Chinese or Oriental? Oriental. Pardon me? Chinese or... Chinese? Party toiler. Harder. 
They're having a party. What kind of, is it a birthday party with kids? Who, who's having the birthday party? Oh, I, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? There's one. Top all Taylor dot dot doors. Ta Taylor's there? Hmm? Taylor's there? Taylor. Yeah, I thought you said Taylor. <laughs> Tra l'altro, se siamo i primi a pubblicare queste robe, queste, queste post, giusto? Mm. Poi non ci verranno a dire gli altri, eh, l'abbiamo capito quello che stai ruttando, perché siamo i primi. Adesso no. Oh. So I'm sitting here and I'm looking through these TikToks and I come across this so-called time traveler. And uh, so I start looking through the videos. Well, um, you know, I'm looking through these comments on this certain video and people are just asking like, what's going to happen next? And people are making predictions. Well, I'm scrolling down and I come across this rando on the October 13th says 2023 in Ohio. What the fuck is that all about? That is strange as hell. I don't know, I just thought y'all should see it. <laughs> Time, she's not lonely. Yep. That's what she said. And you know what? I, what was that? Okay. Eh, 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 eh. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Breaking astronomy news. NASA has just discovered an asteroid that could hit the Earth on Valentine's Day 2046. This asteroid, called 2023 DW, is 50 meters in diameter, which isn't big enough to destroy the Earth, but is big enough to destroy an entire city. 2023 DW has about a 1 in 600 chance of hitting the Earth, and this map shows the potential regions where the asteroid could hit. Although the chances of it hitting Earth are super low, this asteroid has already been placed at the top of NASA's asteroid risk list, which means that right now, it poses more of a threat than any asteroid ever discovered. But that's actually a good thing because it means that if this asteroid has a very small chance of becoming a threat, then all of the other asteroids have an even smaller chance of becoming a threat. ball right now. This is a I double dog dare the devil to mess with the word of God. I'm at the screen. You can't do that. That's a little teaching tool we use to teach our children that you have authority over the devil. I double dog dare the devil to do what? To deal with the word of God. And that's what these guys are doing. They're dealing with the word of God. So Balenciaga had this show in mud, and apparently it's a metaphor for being down to earth and digging for the truth. But to me, this is kind of creepy. <laughs> a little creepy. This is not real. Nobody is real. You're dreaming. 
Wake up, wake up, wake up. What the hell? walks into your room while you're sleeping, just do what this man did. There once was a man named Lester Summerall and he was just going to sleep. When all of a sudden the windows flung open and a dark presence entered his room. He knew immediately that it was a demon. He said that the demon started to shake his bed from the corner of the room to the middle of the room. That's when Lester Summerall commanded the demon to get out. The demon left, but what if I told you that that's not even the crazy part? To find out what the crazy part is, make sure you go click the pin link in comments and subscribe. Oh. Not bananas. Huh? Not bananas. Huh? Not bananas. Only a man is a daddy. Not bananas. Huh? Kenapa nangis? Kenapa nangis? Oh, 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 oh. Allah 
Demons are real. Check this out. This video was originally posted by One Foul Wow. He was showing that in Brazil, they had a freaking parade for Satan. Shortly thereafter, there was a massive flood there. And when I first saw this video, I noticed that there was a shape-shifted demon in the video. You can see it. It's shape-shifted as a wall, and it's going to lose its shape-shift, and it's going to dissipate extremely fast into the water. These things only show up on recording, guys. These things are not physical. They're supernatural. They're spiritual. Demons can shapeshift into whatever they want. They could shapeshift into a, a person, into a car. They can shapeshift into a plane. Wink, wink. They can shapeshift into whatever they want. But if you look really closely in this video, you'll see that it, it's just acting like a wall. What's even weirder is if you watch it, there's a face right there to the left, right there, and a figure walks into the room after this thing shapeshifts. Like, so you got the wall, look on the very far left, you'll see something walk into that room. So as soon as the thing, it's so crazy, look at the white thing, and it, there's, you literally see a figure. Do you guys see this? It's insane. Ephesians 6.12, guys, repent. Wow. <laughs> I just made a word. <laughs> Watch as this demon is cast out. Why are you doing
spotted at the weekend's concert. All of this stuff can have you get possessed by a demon.